There was literally nothing in this present other than sadness and lies, but yet Jocelyn seemed kind of excited about that. Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Hethwin and we're back for some more 100 baby challenge with our matriarch, Catherine. Now I will say I pre-recorded a bunch of episodes of this, so it's been a while now since I've actually played this challenge. So I'm going to be kind of refreshing myself as we go into the game as to what's going on. I do know that in our last episode, we moved out the first set of twins. So Elia and Marcella moved out. That made room for more kids. And I know that Catherine is now pregnant with her next baby. So let us go in and see what it is that Catherine and company have been getting up to. Oh, and right away, it looks like we have Jocelyn asking a question of Catherine. So, I really want to be with friends friends with someone, but they don't seem to really want to be friends with me. How can I make them my friend? Just keep being friendly. Make one grand friendly gesture. You can't force friendship. I think that Catherine would tell Jocelyn to just keep being friendly. So, Catherine is currently pregnant with the next child. Catherine is still in her first trimester of this pregnancy, so she's not very far along and really honestly needs to make some money because we don't have a whole lot. So let's come over here and take a look at our table and get some things like moved over onto it so that maybe Catherine can come and uh, stack this table and actually have a yard sale and earn some money for this family because 695 simoleons isn't going to cut it. Especially what is this, what is the snap person doing here? What are you doing? Why are you like scanning my yard table, lady? Not cool. You need to leave. Shoo. Shoo shoo. Just go away. All right. Well, I guess that worked. <laughs> They're leaving. All right. Goodbye. All right. Start their yard sale. Let's, let's sell some things and earn some money for Catherine in this household. All right, since it's been a while since I've played them, I need to refresh myself with what is going on. Now I know the second set of twins are teenagers. So Jocelyn, who uses they them pronouns, is uh, a curator and let's see, they have a B, but are really close to getting an A. They just need to get some skills up. So, oh wait, but I think tomorrow is, is tomorrow Winterfest? Tomorrow is Winterfest, so they don't have school tomorrow, which means that'll give an opportunity to actually like get some of those skills up. But I think let's have Jocelyn uh, go for a run. We'll have them jog to clear their mind so that they can get that skill level up. So for teenagers, they have to have an A, and then they also have to have one of the parenthood character values in range to actually earn it. So it looks like Jocelyn is close on both manners and responsibility. So they have the potential of earning either one of those and also has a school project that they can work on. All right, their twin, Vivienne, is a extreme sports enthusiast. They also have a B student, are also a B student and need to work on their skills and actually, you know what might not be a bad idea is sending them off to Mount Komarebi to potentially uh, do some skiing to get some some skill levels up. That might that might be not a bad idea, especially since Vivienne wants to be an extreme sport enthusiast and do some of those things. Okay, so that's a possibility. For their character values, they're really, really close to earning that responsibility one. So they're super close there. Now, for children, it's a little simpler. They just have to have an A in school to move on. So our third set of twins, Ariana and Jonathan. Uh, Ariana is a B student. Uh, she needs to get a skill to level four as well. So we could probably have her do some drawing because I think creativity is going to be it for her. And then Jonathan is also a B student and also needs to get a skill level four. And our youngest is Kaylin, who is a toddler. And for toddlers, we need all of their traits to be a three, at least level three. And actually, Kaylin is very, very close to that. Kaylin's going potty right now. So potty skill is being worked on. And she just needs to get her imagination skill up. And we may very well be aging up 
Kaylin in today's episode. Hopefully we can maybe age up some other people, have a baby born, all those good things, and make some good progress. All right, we've sold a lot of things on our yard sale table, so we better restock that. Most stuff got, got sold, so not too bad. So put some more stuff back on here, Catherine, so that you can earn some more money. Paolo Rocca thinks Catherine Larson is swell and wants to become best friends. Do we even know Paolo? Like, I don't even know. I mean, <laughs> do we even know him? I mean, okay, sure. No, okay. Well, hey, we're best friends with Paolo, which, you know, maybe we can flirt with him a little bit. We are going to need to be thinking about baby daddies. Yeah, that was the first time that we met Paolo. We just met Paolo and now we're like best friends. Oh, no, I guess we did know Paolo before because there's he thought that Catherine was proper and polite. Uh, but OK, and we do perceive Paolo as attractive. So that's there is there's a, some potential there for Paolo to be a baby donor. I guess we can do some flirting with him. Okay, well, we've uh, managed to get really flirty with Paolo, so I guess we're going to go in for the first kiss for him and uh, advance this advance this along. Like I said, we are going to need more baby donors, so, I mean, Paolo works. We can have Paolo be a baby donor. <laughs> That's totally fine. We have, so we, we've had a baby with Christopher Volkov, but we haven't, like, cooled that relationship off yet. Uh, we've had, uh, Paolo, we're, we're lining up. We do still have Vanessa. Now, Vanessa has been Catherine's friend for a while, but we have not been successful at all in trying for a baby with Vanessa. I did some looking into it, and I think one of the problems that I was having with having Vanessa get Catherine pregnant came with MC Woohoo. And it looked like with MC Woohoo, if you had a feminine sim who you altered so that they could get another sim pregnant, they were not like I was having problems having successful like pregnancies with that. And so I turned that off and in other saves that I've played that has been more that has been successful like I've been able to do it. So I've taken that out of my game and I think I want to try and have Catherine have a baby with Vanessa because we've tried it like multiple times and I do think that they would be a good like couple together so i i want to i want to try it again and see if we can make that work so after this baby i'm thinking that's going to be what the plan will be now Catherine has moved in to her second trimester so she is looking rather rather large we are on a ley line so the potential for twins is pretty high oh and vivienne's responsibility is in range to earn the responsible trait. Very good, that was needed. So Vivian completed her homework. It looks like we've managed to actually get everybody in bed at the same time, which is kind of a miracle sometimes. Although, I don't know, what is Jonathan doing? Jonathan, the problem child, never seems to um, go to bed when he's supposed to. It is a winter fest, which does mean the kids will not be going to school today. So nobody, none of our children or teenagers will be aging up. However, Kaylin is very, very close. She's at 97% of her potty skill and at like 98% of her imagination. So I think there's a really good chance that she will age up today. So that's, that's something that we can be looking forward to. Since it is Winterfest and there isn't really space in here for a Christmas tree, we've just gotten like this, this pile of presents and we'll have everybody kind of come together and open up gifts for, for Winterfest. We can also uh, decorate the house so that people have a successful and happy Winterfest. All right, Caitlin is very close to potty, maxing the potty skill. We're going to have her come out and play with dolls so that she can max her imagination. Uh-oh, and Vivian is hot-headed, so she's feeling really angry right now. And oh my goodness, Jonathan, did you just prank the gifts? I think Jonathan pranked the gifts. Oh, what a little stinker. Okay, Kaylin has reached level three of the imagination skill, which is good, which just means that she needs to finish off her potty skill and then we can have her aging up into a child. Oh no, and it looks like the shower is broken, so Catherine will need to fix that. Does it surprise anyone to find Catherine out here playing dolls? No, 
that's like very much her thing as she goes and she like plays dolls oh and now the sink is broken actually jocelyn is interacting with kaylin but i think we're gonna have them come over and give kaylin a, a bath because kaylin is kind of stinky and then once once that's done we'll open some presents all right let's have everybody come over and let's open some presents for winterfest yes some things we may oh marcel price is calling now marcel is someone that Catherine like really hit it off with quite a bit and um he is married and they and she's currently pregnant with his baby but they really hit it off and he is calling up Catherine, asking Catherine for some advice saying it's good to hear your voice Catherine. i wanted to ask you if i should get to know eva capricotia a little bit better as a friend they seem like good company um now Catherine is kind of she's into marcel but she's got a really bad history with relationships and i think she's not going to push push it so i think she's going to say socializing is always fun but that's your choice and then let's get let's get some presents open there was literally nothing in this present other than sadness and lies but yet jocelyn seemed kind of excited about that Oh, nice. Catherine has reached level 10 of the parenting skill. That will be helpful. Uh, Kaylin got the, a Let There Be Light laser show. She's a toddler. Why was that the toddler's gift? Uh, Vivian got Baconite. Catherine got a Happy Gnome Garden Pal. Ariana got a Penguin Vision children's television set. All right. Jonathan got the Lots of Love Bear. Okay, so everybody's opened gifts. And it looks like Ariana is pranking that gift, but okay. But we already opened everybody's gifts. It, and poor Jocelyn was the one that like got got kind of the short end of the stick in that. So, but everyone seems to have be really excited about Winterfest, and Winterfest seems to have gone really well. I did mention that I thought maybe we could head up to Mount Komorebi with the teenagers and they could do a little bit of skiing. So I think we're gonna do that. Let's take um, actually, maybe we'll take everybody up to Mount Komorebi. It could be like a Winterfest thing. We could go up to the mountain. Everybody could like just kind of have some fun. Catherine can't do a whole lot because she's pregnant. But like, let's give them something to do. Something a little more interesting than just like hanging around the house and like raising babies. All right. We are here at Mount Komorebi. And Jocelyn and... Vivienne are wanting they need to do some things to kind of like raise some skill levels where I think we're gonna have Jocelyn just they're both gonna just go for it and head up and just start going on the slopes like right away now for Vivienne because she's an extreme sports enthusiast first she wants to go down the bunny slope so we'll start with having her go um she can she can go skiing she'll go skiing on the bunny slope one time Ariana is, let's see, maybe we can have Ariana come over here and like go sledding with Jonathan. Can Catherine go sledding? No, not really. Can't, Catherine can't do that while pregnant, which means that poor Kaylin can't either. Kaylin's going to have to go sledding with like a sibling, I guess. So Kaylin's just over here playing in the snow while her siblings do some of the winter sport activities. Now, Vivian has gone down the bunny slope, and I think she sees Kaylin over there playing by herself. So she's going to take Kaylin, Kaylin sledding just to kind of like let her, you know, get to do something fun in the snow besides just like playing in it. Not that that's not fun, but she wants to she wants to do something a little bit more for for her sister. So they're going to go sledding. All right, here they go. They're ready to go down the hill. Oh my goodness. I don't know how I'd feel about like taking a toddler down jumps, but it looks like Kaylin had a good time, although she's feeling really sad because she's pretty tired. So maybe it would be a good idea to send Car Catherine and Kaylin back home because Catherine can't really do a whole lot here anyway. We are going to have Vivian come over and do some skiing uh, to kind of work on a skill it doesn't look like jocelyn is having very much success on the slope either they just fell down and apparently these two just said we're not gonna sled we're just gonna hang out here in the onsen which i mean that's fine i guess you guys could do your extra credit work here while you're just like waiting for everybody get some extra credit work done Jonathan, actually, no, Jonathan should do some skiing or snowboarding as well because he needs to get a, a skill up. 
Apparently, Jocelyn is like not having any fun. She, Jocelyn hates snowboarding. So why are we having Jocelyn snowboard? Let's have Jocelyn go skiing instead. Oh my gosh. No, I was like, why is Jocelyn like so miserable? Because Jocelyn doesn't like to snowboard. But here we are making Jocelyn snowboard. Did not think that one through very well. Oh wait, Jonathan peed his pants? When did that happen? Oh no. Okay, so our trip to Mount Komarevi has been a complete failure. Complete failure. Jocelyn was miserable the whole time because they don't like snowboarding and yet they were snowboarding. Vivian just kind of gave up on everything and is like over here in the hot spring with Ariana. Jonathan has peed himself. Catherine couldn't do anything because she was pregnant, so she left and took Kaylin home. Oh my gosh. All right, let's just get everybody home. The best intentions kind of failed on everyone. Okay, so that didn't work out the way we wanted it to. And it does look like Kaylin needs to use the potty. So we're going to send her in to go potty because that should hopefully have her get her potty. School. Actually, wait, let's have Catherine come potty train her because Kaylin is clingy. So she'll learn faster if someone is teaching her stuff. Now, we really made like no progress at all with like skills for Jocelyn. They're still like not doing very well. They like fitness and video gaming. So maybe what we're going to do is have them come in and play a video game. Vivian is still like all over the place with her skills as well. So let's maybe have her come and play the computer. Ariana, we can have... They need to do some pictures while inspired. So maybe we'll have them take a thoughtful shower. And Jonathan... I guess he could come play the piano because he, has, he just needs some skill. It doesn't have to be the motor skill. So we'll just have him come in and do that. All right. So Kaylin is in here. Why? Catherine, you're supposed to be potty training her. Why are you not potty training her? Oh, my gosh. Okay, but we're getting getting close. I really, I'm really hoping that we can age up Kaylin. She won't be able to go to school tomorrow because it's like too close to time. Oh, no, no, no. What are you doing? Go back and go potty. Go back and go potty. Go back and go potty. Honestly, everybody is kind of a mess. The trip to Mount Komarebi, bad call. Really bad call. All right, and Kaylin has reached potty level three, so we can age her up. I don't know, do we have? Oh, the refrigerator is broken. We do have a cake, so let's get the cake out. Where'd the cake go? Wait, where'd the cake go? I put the... Why did it go in Catherine's inventory? Okay, cake is spoiled. Of course the cake is spoiled. All right, Catherine, fix the fridge. Oh my gosh, it's getting late. And oh, geez. And Ariana is over here making a mess. Everything is chaotic. All right, teach. All right, say, don't make a mess. And then we got to make her clean it up. That's not cool. You can't just make messes everywhere. There's too many of you for this to be happening. Clean up your mess. And Catherine will come and fix the computer. All right, let's get people to sleep. Oh my God, that toilet's broken. <laughs> Things are broken everywhere. All right, we're going to get people to sleep. Sleeping needs to be happening. Maybe we'll just wait and age up Kaylin in the morning because it's a little chaotic right now. Catherine did not finish repairing the refrigerator. Come on, you got to fix the fridge. I know that you're pregnant and stuff, but like it needs to be fixed. Okay, refrigerator repaired. Now come fix the toilet. Oh goodness, this house is a disaster. I think we're going to just wait and age up Kaylin in the morning. The, the house is like in too much disarray for it to, to for anything else to happen so Catherine is going to get the house cleaned up jonathan go to bed everybody had a successful winter fest at least so that's good nobody's upset about that we we're going to have Catherine cook a cake so that when kaylin wakes up we can age kaylin up and um, let's see okay so ariana is at least ready for a b and so is Jonathan. So we could potentially be aging both of them into teenagers tomorrow as well after they get home from school. So that is a possibility. All right, Jonathan finished his extra credit work. Very good. All right, we're gonna, we're not going to high school with our teenagers, which we kind of talked about before. Since the focus of this challenge is really more on raising the kids and not necessarily playing through their story, so to speak, they're going to just kind of go on their own. All right. And Catherine is in her third trimester. 
So the baby will be coming soon-ish, and we do kind of have a next option lined up. All right, now let's get this cake out here and wake up Kaylin so that we can get Kaylin aged up. Vivian's last math test was not her best work. She got a so-so grade, which could really bring down her average. Should she ask to do some extra credit or just try hard to get a perfect grade next time? I think Vivian will ask for extra credit. Vivian's teacher decides to provide Vivian with a little life lesson. Isn't it great when they do that? Vivian learns that if she wants a better grade, she should study harder first instead of cry about it later. Oh, that's harsh. Okay, so apparently that was not an option. And then let's uh, let's get little Kaylin aged up here. All right, so Kaylin has aged into a child. And we do randomly generate aspirations for this. So I do have a random number generator open to roll between one and four because there's four childhood aspirations. So we're going to roll and we got a four, which is social. So Kaylin is going to be a social butterfly. And then let's roll for her trait. Evil. All right. So Kaylin is an evil social butterfly. Very good. That won't be crazy at all. I think we're going to wait to give Kaylin a makeover until the other kids get home from school because I think that there's a chance that Ariana and Jonathan might get A's and be ready to age up into teenagers. So if that's the case, then we can just give them all a makeover at the same time. And since we still are kind of low on funds, I think let's go have another yard sale. Ooh, this is Janae Price, who is Marcel's wife. And here's Catherine over here pregnant with Marcel's kid. That could be problematic. Jonathan is sitting with his class in assembly when the music teacher asks for a volunteer. The teacher is looking right at him, but Jonathan can see how excited the kid next to him is to go up on stage. Should Jonathan take the chance or send the other kid? Okay, given the way that Jonathan has behaved throughout his life, I don't think he's going to send the other kid. I think he's going to take the chance. Up to the front, Jonathan goes where the teacher hands him some symbols. Crash, bang. He makes so much noise, he doesn't even notice the teacher's cries for him to stop. Not until the principal snatches the symbols away. Oops. A small performance. Honestly, though, that's like so fitting for Jonathan. This was the kid that woke up every night like multiple times a night because of nightmares. Oh my gosh, everybody, everybody, every single kid. All right, now this is Vivienne. Vivienne's last math test was not her best work. She got a so-so grade, which could really bring down her average. Oh, we got this one already. This time we're going to work harder though. Okay, and Vivienne got, did get a small performance gain. Goodness gracious. We're just trying to have a yard sale and we're getting all sorts of calls from school. Okay, yard sale is done. We sold a lot of things. All right, school is over. And Jocelyn is a B, Viviana is a B. All right, Ariana has gotten an A and Jonathan has gotten an A. So that means that we'll be able to age those two up as well. All right, so let's let's start with Ariana and let's age up Ariana. All right, Ariana is aged up into a teenager, so we're going to randomize between 1 and 16. I don't really care if these guys get the... Star Wars aspiration. When we know, when we're kind of reaching the point where we're going to have to pick an heir, we will skip the Star Wars aspiration um, because I don't want to deal with that. But I don't care if my kids have it. That's fine. All right. So between 1 and 16, we got 15, which is, well, one of the teenage aspirations. Okay. So then we're going to roll between 1 and 4. We got 2, which is admired icon so ariana is a green fiend and i admired icon and a cheerful sim okay not too bad that's not terrible all right so we'll get some birthday candles back on that cake and then have jonathan come blow out the candles all right and now jonathan has aged up into a teenager so again we're gonna go between 1 and 16 we got 11 which is nature and then there's eight to choose from for that one. And we got a three, which is freelance botanist. Okay. And then he is also a perfectionist. All right. So since we've now had like multiple birthdays here, I think that's actually gives us a good spot to age these guys, or not to age these guys up, but to give them quick, quick makeovers. Not going to spend a ton of time with makeovers with them. Oh no, you just took a piece of the cake, Catherine. You don't take a piece of the cake. All right, let's give them makeovers. All 
All right, everyone got a bit of a makeover. And to be honest with you, I just did a lot of, I just kind of went through real quickly and I used some of like the pre-made styles just to kind of simplify things. So this is, this is Ariana and her made over look in her everyday outfit. I'm not going to go through all of the outfits. It's a little bit tedious to do all that. So here's Ariana. This is Jonathan. And then we have Kaylin all made over. So we have made over all of our birthday kids and made some good progress with getting people aged up. So that's very good. And I know we were kind of like hoping to have the baby in this episode, but I'm kind of thinking this might be a good place to leave it. And then when we come back for the next episode, Catherine should have that next baby. We, the trip to Mount Komorebi was kind of a disaster. So that slowed some things down with my recording and getting through everything because I just did not go the way that I intended it to go. But we made good progress. We've advanced some kids. We are all set for that baby to be born. We've got four teenagers in the house. So lots of help with babies or babies because it could very well be twins. So next episode, baby number eight should be born. So thank you all so much for watching. If you liked this video, please do like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!